more, let's bring in our international affairs editor, Philip Turrell. Philip, first of all, what more can you tell us about what happened exactly Monday? Well, I think, Jeannie, th there is really, um, there are really a couple of big questions that need to be answered pretty urgently in, in Pakistan. Uh, the first one is, how did the bomber get into the mosque? Remember, this was in an area of uh, Peshawar where uh, there is very strong security and particularly around the mosque because this compound is where a lot of police and military staff are based uh, and therefore uh, a prime target for uh, the Taliban and uh, militant groups to, to take on to create havoc by committing terrorist attacks. So that's the first question. I think the authorities really need to look into that as quickly as possible. And the second one is who was actually responsible for this? Now, this took place in Peshawar, which you can see is up in the northwestern part of Pakistan, very close to the border with Afghanistan. This is an area of the country where the uh, tahrik e taliban Pakistan, which is more commonly known uh, as the uh, Taliban or the Pakistan Taliban are based. Uh, and they are the ones who are most likely in the eyes of many observers responsible for this attack. Now, there, have, there was an, a claim by them pretty soon after this attack put, took place on Twitter saying that they were responsible, but that was then denied by a more high-ranking member of the uh, Taliban uh, who said that uh, it was not uh, in uh, their uh, way to attack mosques and uh, religious sites and that anybody who did that would be severely reprimanded. But if you look at some of the attacks that the Taliban have been responsible for in Pakistan over the past few years. There was one appalling attack back in 2014 against a school, it also in Peshawar, where uh, 132 children uh, were killed and 140 people in all. And more close to home since uh, the breakdown of talks that were organised between the government of Pakistan and the, the Taliban of Pakistan to try to create some kind of ceasefire deal. They broke down in November. There's been a resurgence of uh, activity uh, with at uh, least four dead in Baluchistan and another uh, six dead uh, or ten police officers, rather, in an attack uh, in December. So uh, the militants have made it pretty clear that since those talks broke down, they are back to uh, their militant activity. And that is why more questions need to be answered about how this took place uh, in this mosque uh, in Peshawar yesterday. What more do we know about the Pakistan uh, Taliban, exactly how it works? Well, they are a Sunni, Islamist and sectarian group uh, with Pashtun origins. Uh, they were created back in December 2007. And it's estimated there are about 6,000 members of this group. They are on a recruitment drive right now to try to bring in new members. Um, they are not as powerful as they used to be uh, 10 years ago since uh, the war on terror. They were uh, for quite a while active and kept in, in Afghanistan under the protection of the Afghan Taliban uh, before moving back into Pakistan. Uh, but their overall objective is really to overthrow the Pakistani government. That's what they want to do. And they want to introduce uh, a strict Sharia law in areas of northwestern Pakistan that they control. Now, they've been already uh, designated as a terrorist group by the United Nations, by Canada, the United Kingdom, Pakistan and the United States. But there have been efforts to try to bring them to the negotiating table, as I was saying, several times over the past few years, most recently uh, in uh, the latter part of 2022, uh, under the auspices of the Afghanistan Taliban, those uh, discussions didn't get anywhere. Uh, and so since then, we've seen a resurgence of these attacks. Now, the big question is, what is going to happen next? Is the government of Pakistan going to be able to do anything to stop these terrorist attacks from continuing? That looks pretty unsure at the moment. Uh, it's not good news for them. It's not good news for the Taliban in Afghanistan either. So I think the feeling is that we could see more of these attacks uh, in the near future. Philip, thank you for that. France 24's Philip Turrell.